Hi YouTube, how's it going? I'm just kind of lonely on a Friday. I'm waiting for my friend, uh, my one friend in the world, Dan, to show up. What a legend. Yeah, so me and... Uh, I, I should start this video by saying I didn't start this video with any point in mind, so... Some people really like my mishmash videos, but um, I have no point. Um, hi. How have you been? I'm kind of lonely, kind of good, but kind of lonely. And I've been chatting to my friend Dan, right? And it's kind of related in a way to what we were talking about in my last few videos about what men want from relationships, what women want from relationships, my idea that they're not the same thing. And of course, we've come to the conclusion in my private and public YouTube life that, um, you know, men are different and you can't really peg down one gender for what one relationship uh, desire. Um, which I already knew because I've been saying that on YouTube for like three years anyway but I've just had this kind of crisis of faith that maybe men are all the same because I keep seeing these behaviours sorry I'm trying to roll at the same time no it's not a cigarette um, <clears throat> so I shouldn't be in any relationships right now I'm way too messed up I've got loads of crap to sort out in my own life before I go jumping on the relationship bandwagon again but then a big problem I find with being single for long periods of time is that I don't feel good about myself, I don't like the way I look, I don't I don't make myself feel very proud um, internally. Um, so I've been trying to think of things that I can do to um, you know, improve my self-esteem. So if you're watching and you think you have a tip on how to improve your self-esteem, I would love to hear it. I think I've asked this before on YouTube. Can I just say how fucking amazing it is having like 800 people there to just, you know, members of the public to poll ideas to. I've had people say that it's really not a healthy thing to do to look for your, you know, life guidance or affirmation on YouTube. And I wouldn't go that far, I wouldn't say I'm looking for my life guidance on YouTube, but it is really interesting to be able to ask for a piece of advice on a topic and have, you know, usually some kind of majority sensible idea will come out of it and you'll be able to tell the people that kind of have your best interests at heart and all of those type of people will tend to kind of agree um, so but you know I thank you because I kind of came onto YouTube to talk at you um, because I was really fucking fed up of never hearing my points of view expressed um, but actually it's, it's a very two way process and I'm learning from you also um, yeah so I'm waffling at you this is my lonely life sitting on my own well that's not true my friends coming around but it feels that way at the moment that my lonely life on a Friday night just sitting talking to YouTube not that I don't love you guys I love sitting here and talking to YouTube you know but it's not exactly uh, considered to be something that passionate inspired people do on a Friday night I suppose so anyway I was thinking about various things I can do to make myself feel good and this is part of the problem is I feel like you know I'm not living my life as an inspired passionate person hence giving up weed seriously like you can't after um, nine years of pretty much daily well daily for the last six years you know um, abuse of cannabis I can happily report that you'll never reach the high you're trying to and nothing will ever get achieved and you will have no social skills um but anyway, yeah, this is the point. I'm trying to think of things I can do that make me feel like the person I want to be. You know, I feel like I'm not using my time at all. And I want to be productive and really work on how I feel about myself internally by having things that I like. And I have trouble thinking of things that I like because I've been just a stoner for so long and a depressed person before that for so long that you know I, I don't feel like I have that many things but one of the things is I really want to play cello I really want to be able to play cello I don't know if anyone remembers that music tag video I did ages ago where I kind of got my cello in the post and then it was shit and it fell apart and I had to send it back um, and I just haven't had any money since so I'm going to have to defer that until after university um, what else performance poetry I love performance poetry and I really want to write something which I feel like kind of exposes me and is of a triumphant tone that I can really perform to an audience and have people applaud my kind of uh, newfound self-confidence afterwards. I'd really love to pull that off. 
Um, and for the people, that, uh, the probably two people that want me to um, pay attention to my poetry channel, I am working on that finally. I never have anything to write about and then it gets to September and I have like a mini breakdown because um, I have seasonal affective disorder so now we're going into the winter months I'll, I'll, you'll, be, you'll be finding me you know, moaning my tortured artist soul out over there on the other channel if you fancy it, it's linked on my channel page I wasn't planning on going there for a shameless plug but fuck it, seeing as I've got your attention um, things that make me feel good about myself playing cello, performance, poetry um, mm. I'd like to do something to help someone less fortunate than myself. I think I have a tendency to be quite self-centred and I would really like to, um, whilst I, I think I, I'm self-centred with a really good heart and a really strong sense of socialism and caring about, you know, people that need my help. Um, but I just think I could dedicate more time to actually kind of hands-on changing the world rather than just kind of sitting on YouTube talking about it and going to protests. Um, but I feel like there's this horrible gap where, you know, my dream career should be. Anytime I think about having a career, any career, I just think I don't want to go to work for five days for the rest of my life and I can't seem to get past that. And there aren't there aren't any jobs that I want to do, you know? There's nothing where I want to be tied down to something five days a week for the next forty years. There really isn't. Um I remember this really creepy moment when my sister, my younger sister, turned around. She's my only sister, but she's younger than me. I thought I'd make that point. Turned around to me with this kind of really blank body snatchers style face and said, um, "You know, just working nine till five, five days a week gets much easier when you just kind of accept it." And it was like, "Yeah, no, I, yeah." It was a creepy mo Orwellian moment for me where it's like they've got my sister. I kind of would have really liked it if she. Um, but then this makes me sound like I'm completely opposed to doing any work and it's really not that. It's just that I want to do something which is meaningful to my soul and not just, you know, get paid a mediocre wage for the rest of my life for some insignificant position somewhere. Um, part of me just wants to run away to a commune, you know, just find some way to live off grid. Um, I just feel like I'll kill myself, like my soul will die. I think that maybe people of my generation don't really have any illusions about the capitalist system into which they're born. Um, well, I can't say that because I wasn't alive, you know, three generations ago to know how children felt about it, whether or not it was like, you know, wow, I can see this all playing out already. Maybe, maybe they didn't have the same amount of disillusionment, I'd be interested to know. I'm waffling at you. Can you tell that I stopped for a smoke break in the middle? And um, besides, this has become a really long rambly video. So whoever told me in an email the other day stop to stop saying like you're boring, that I'm boring you, apologising for boring you, because they made the fair point that if you've made it to this point in the video, you're probably not bored. But then I have to ask you people like, why? <laughs> why? I appreciate your company, don't go away by any means, but you know, I just, well, no, I wasn't really asking why, because then that sounds like I'm fishing for compliments, I'm more just expressing a feeling that I have of co confusion. Um, yeah, to whoever told me to lay off the weed, you're definitely not wrong. And I hope you're all well, and my human feeling goes out to you, if you're still watching. Thank you.